well hello. The microphone is probably not as loud as the last two videos. Um, I've moved it from right here back sort of over there again because I found with the other videos that I edited it, this, there was just too much mixing noise and other noises so I've moved it back up sort of a bit higher so hopefully it'll still be alright. Um, if there's a whole bunch of background noise I apologise but I really really needed to get some washing done so the washing machine and the dryer are both on. <laughs> I just didn't have a choice. Alright so we're going to do something a little bit different today. Well I mean it's not different I'm making soap but I have no um, uh, so soaps to give away in orders and um, I don't make soap as much as I used to anymore so just cutting the ends off of soap is just isn't it, it's not enough because you know I'm making like two soaps a week basically these days so I'm going to make a uh, a, a freebie specific soap today but we've also got something a little a little spiffy happening well we hope it's happening I don't know um, we've talked about the stencils before if you've been around the channel for a while you've heard me talk about them before about how I didn't really want to do them because someone else has sort of done them although I was going to do something completely different than what she's doing not completely different but different like you have seen you will have seen this sort of floating around on the table at some point in, in past videos and my idea was to sit this sort of on the soap and then pat it with mica or maybe some soap dough or something but I just never got around to um, releasing them or even really testing them so and then yeah so I just sort of just decided I wasn't going to do that again anymore and then um, uh, Kylie tagged me in a post on the Australian soap makers uh, the other day about making um, sprinkles with stencils so you guys know how much I love sprinkles <laughs> I, am, I love my sprinkles um, I do hate the fact that sometimes some of them will melt and that yes people seem to think that they're dirty or whatever they're not they're just food sprinkles it's, you know I don't understand why it's such a, a stigma to put food sprinkles on soap but anyway so I have, which I'm just trying to get things out of the way here and not knock anything over, I have made um, two stencil sheets. Now these are 3D printed obviously, they're not particularly thick, I think they are 0.8mm thick, so they're not particularly 08 I'm not entirely sure, you can see how thick that is. <laughs> But yeah, I've done two. Now just, I have an idea of how these might work. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna give them a go because this is just, like I said, just a trial run, just to see. Well, that one's a bit dodgy, but that's okay. Um, yeah, and I just, I just printed these up. I would say real quick, but that one took four and a half hours and that one took over five. So I didn't print them up real quick. I designed them real quick because I sort of had the designs sort of I mean I had the, the I had things sort of sorted out so that I could do it fairly quickly anyway also I'm good at what I do <laughs> yeah yeah whatever that's skiting I guess and people get the shits about it but I am good at what I do and I'm not gonna say I'm not good at what I do when I am good at what I do so so there and stop saying so god stop it I hate I hate editing my videos all I hear is me sniffing which I'm really I really really am sorry I don't even know I'm doing that I have um, really bad sinuses and I will just sniff because I have a lot a lot of times I can't breathe and it freaks me out when I talk I get out of breath as well because I'm very unfit um, and I talk a lot <laughs> And so I sniff and I didn't even know I did it and I've just noticed it in a couple of past videos and I'm like, oh god. And yes, I sew a lot. So there's that. Alright, so we have, see, <laughs> we have the lie in here. I'm going to 
give that a mix and what we're going to do is we're going to mix up just four jugs of color we're not going to mess around with it and I'm going to put some soap in these um, stencils and I'm also going to do like two half loaves so I can cut them up for freebies how does that sound sounds pretty simple and we're going to do four different colors and we're using lemon and lime from range I was going to use the lemon and lime from Ilux but I don't know why I didn't because I only have a little bottle I didn't want to waste it just in case this doesn't work <laughs> Obviously, that means I must prefer the Ilux to the range. Um, look, I've used two of the Ilux fragrances so far, and both of them have behaved beautifully. Um, so I'm super happy with those. But then again, I've used a few range fragrances now, and I think only one has played up stupidly. So, you know, both these companies I'm super happy with. All right, let's give this a was. Also, if the happiness sounds a little forced today, or whatever sounds a little forced today, it kind of is. I just, I'm just not in a good place mentally at the moment. It's probably going to go away. <laughs> well, it will go away. We'll come back, but it'll go away. But um, yeah, I, I think I don't soap enough. I don't soap, and soaping is really good for my mental health, I think. And um, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll come and soap. I. That wasn't my original intent. Like I wanted today was going to be my soaping day, and then I realised I had a whole bunch of other things to do. Um, and I thought, well, I, well, I can put the soaping off, and then didn't I put other things off? And decided I was going to do the soaping instead. <laughs> now I didn't mix that very much. It's just basically emulsified. I haven't sort of gone any further than that. Um, so it's still nice and loose. It's also very cool in here. It's done in. Oh. It's 22 in here. It's so hilarious. Upstairs is like 28. Seriously, I went up there before a check and it was 28 in the house. That's 22 down here. So this room is going to be freezing in winter. So cold. But yes, it's fine. It's just annoying because the screen door um, for this room doesn't work. So I can't open the door and let the warmth from outside come in here without letting the four bazillion mozzies that we have at the moment come in so it's kind of annoying I'm probably going to go down to the real estate and sort of say listen is there any chance you can fix that door please I mean it'll be too cold to have it open soon anyway so you know I've got all winter to nag at them I guess <laughs> I'm still waiting for the plumber to come back and he hasn't done that yet that was like two weeks ago <sighs> Anyway, but yes, I, I needed the soap today. Today I just, I don't know, I'm not coping. <laughs> just not coping. Sometimes I don't cope. Um, this is what happens when you have bipolar. You sometimes you just, you just, you can't. You just cannot. And today is a cannot day. That, 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 and that, and then that can be my mixing order as well. I need a spoon. Right, I keep saying I'm going to move those spoons. I have moved the bloody spoons. Ooh, that's a grotty spoon. Why are you grotty? You dirty, dirty spoon. Alrighty. Colours we need. Colours. So, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon, that I can pour... I reckon I can drop the lids on the floor. Ugh, it's not the first time. So, Tuscan Sun for the yellow, Orange Pop for the orange, Caravan for the green, and Mysterious for the blue. All from my micro obsession. She probably doesn't have them in stock. Um, um, my micro obsession is something's happening. I'm not sure. Uh, Amanda did mention this. We, we had a phone call. A while ago now and she did say that there were big changes coming but she didn't elaborate I probably should have asked because I'm such a busy body as far as I didn't actually and um, yeah so I don't know if she's going to be restocking all the mic has got to hope so I really do where else am I going to get my micas from that are reliable and don't do stupid things and so and I'm buying them from the states because it's too bloody expensive 
Anyway, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was saying something before that. Was yes, I know what I was saying before that. I think I can pour this soap into those little stencils if the soap is at sort of like a medium trace and it's not going to run out the bottoms. I also think they may be a little hard to unmold because this is cold process. Cold process doesn't go hard like um, oh, there's a chunk of mica in there. Um, it doesn't go hard like melt and pour does. And you're not going to be able to put melt and pour in these because they are just stencil sheets. So it will just sort of basically flow out the bottom. <sighs> so we will see what happens. But yeah, I was thinking about it last night. I was laying in bed wondering what the best way to actually put the... Um, I knew there was a whole bunch of mica on there. Best way to put the soap in them. And I honestly think it's just pouring it in and then giving them a scrape with the spatula. And then um, and then just leaving them, maybe even leaving them for a couple of days so that they can like harden up extra. Because they're only it's only a little bit of soap, so it's going to saponify really quickly. And you know they will cure quicker, maybe because there's so little of them, so they may get harder quicker. But I also don't know how hard they're going to get being so small, because yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess this is why we're experimenting today to see what happens. Um, the lemon and lime is really nice. Now the lemon and lime from both companies smells pretty much the same um, I don't know what else you could make a lemon and lime smell like they both smell like lemon and lime so I'm not overly surprised that they smell similar um, yeah but um, it's very yellow it's, it's this one this one from range it's, it's not supposed to have any um, what's that stuff called that makes things go brown <laughs> vanilla yeah Another, another thing. Although I mean I have brain farts all the time, don't I? So being being a bit depressed is just not really going to make much difference to that. All right, we'll give these all a whiz, and then we'll come back and we'll do something with them. Okay then. I'll just give these a quick little stir through, just to make sure we've got all of the mica. Excuse me. So Brie cracked me up. She um she was in a bad way the other day. So we went to um, Grafton. <laughs> well, we eventually got to Grafton. That's a whole other story. Um, and we went to Happy Paws, which is where they it's like an animal shelter, and it's like they mostly have cats. Or well, they have dogs, but I don't take any of the dogs because I don't care about dogs. I don't like dogs. And dogs don't interest me at all. They just annoy me. Um, and I don't care if I'm vilified for saying that. I just don't like dogs. I just, I think they're stupid. Anyway, so I got to see all the kitties and it was a nice day. And anyway, I just, it's like, when she's upset, the first person she wants to talk to is me. And then today she's so excited because she got this contract that she put in a, a, a quote for and she's like super excited. First thing she wants to do is come and take me out for lunch. It's like, right, okay. You know, it's nice to know that you sort of have someone in your life who thinks of you first, you know? All right. I don't want to use all the thingies, so we might go with a spoon. We'll just give this a mix and see what happens, shall we? Let's get these out of the way so you can see what's going on, as well as me. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I can just pour these in a mould and not stress about it. But it seems to be just behaving quite nicely. It smells good. It's very, very tart. It's very much more, very much more. It's more, um, I'm just going to use the bloody spatula. I don't know why I didn't use the spatula to begin with. Because I'm a dickhead, I think. 
Um, it's more like the rind of lemons and limes than like lemons and limes. It's sort of not quite as juicy. It'll be interesting to see how that blue goes. Blue has a tendency to make fragrances play up or react with fragrances. So, but yeah, it's definitely more on the tart kind of side than the juicy side. Does that make sense? Because I'm, you know, I'm not very good at, at describing fragrances other than saying, "Oh God, that's awful!" or "Jeez, that's so good." That's pretty much my repertoire. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. This is really good. I'm liking it. It's a bit of a mess. Oh, it smells divine. Spoke with an eye, with two eyes actually. D E V I I N E. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna resist. Oh dear. I don't know why that annoys me so much. Probably because so many people make the mistake and it's like, how do you not know how to spell divine? How do you not know? <laughs> Tell me, I don't know how you don't know. Is spelling not taught in schools anymore? Alright, okay, so we'll put these over her. We'll see, they're all still behaving super, super well. All right, let's give this a little bit of a wipety wipe. I've got bloody blue soap batter everywhere over there. I don't know how I've managed that. That's not thickening. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so it's a reasonable thickness. Let's just pour a little bit on here and see what, <laughs> see what happens. See if it leaks out everywhere. So my idea was just to just pour it on top, right? Just like that. Oh, and then try not to stick your spatula to everything. And then just sort of, just do, I'm gonna guess this is probably easiest to do with just one color. I didn't wanna just do one color though. Just like that. And it doesn't look like it's running out the bottom. So I might actually, can you guys see what I'm doing? You can. I might just, I mean this is thickening. Well that might even be a better idea. Just put just a little bit and scrape it across. There we go, there we go. Okay, maybe this will work. Maybe this is not a bad idea. I was, I was pretty worried about the like the delivery of, of how to get it in these a without making like a giant friggin mess and b without it leaking out underneath and whoops just put that much this has actually thickened a reasonable amount this not the orange has more than the others so there you go this seems to be working but yeah I think you might be better off doing uh, maybe one color per um, thingy bigly thingy bigly right okay sure because then you could just scrape it off you know so that might be good how are we we're at 20 minutes we're not oh no no wait 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 you dickhead finish one color before you start another Oh, I didn't put very much on that one. These are going to look super cute though, with some mixed colours like that. I did fairly big circles on this one. Oh, look at that. You can also lift it off the insides of your uh, soap container. I don't know if you guys actually saw what I did. I just scraped it up off the inside like that. Oh, if these work, I hope we can get them out. I hope we can get them out. That would be great if this would actually work. That would make my day, seeing as I feel like absolute shit today about everything, but the whole world can just eat a dick. 
and this is the thing, like, I'll say something like that and people will, like, in real life, and people go, oh, why? There is no reason why. I have bipolar. I just feel like this. And I don't, it's hard to explain to people who don't have mental problems that sometimes you can just wake up like this for no good reason that there doesn't have to be any reason in the entire world for you to feel like you just want to just either kill yourself or the whole world <laughs> metaphorically not actually <laughs> just thought I'd better add that so YouTube doesn't you know think I'm advocating anything here which I'm not I'm just saying this is actually easier just scraping it up off the inside of the um, the um, soap container because it seems to give you more control and a lot less mess like look how less messy this end is compared to the top oh, I'm loving this you guys this is so great so I'm just going to put a little bit in some of those like that and then that way when I scrape some of this ugly blue out I was sort of hoping the blue would look more like the blue of the actual stencils, but it's a bit grey. Although, blue does tend to go grey sometimes, isn't it? Oh, if these work, I'm going to have the cutest stencils ever. Cutest. We haven't even made the soap yet. <laughs> Alright, get some more from over her. Thinking I'm gangster over here. Listen to me. We might actually have to turn the video off and turn it back on again because we're already at like 24 minutes nearly. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm in love with this. Oh, if this works, this is going to open up a whole range of possibilities. Oh, oh. Thanks, Kylie. <laughs> oh, where can I put that? <laughs> I'm back. Just cleaning out your moulds with some alcohol here. this one as well never hurts to have your moulds too clean that's for sure all right now I've got two moulds because I don't want super tall soap because oh Christ, <laughs> we're setting up over here um, it's easier to have them not be super tall so what I'm gonna do is so this fragrance is, is would be good to work with if you worked with it straight away. Because I was fart assing around, um, it has set up. But honestly, I still think you would have time to do swirls with it if you weren't fart assing. So I'm just going to just chuck this in the moulds. I'm not even going to worry too much about a design or keeping any back. Just going to just put it in zip modes. But yeah, I like a little half soap for orders uh, because uh, they're easier to put in the cute little lolly bags that I have. Uh, they look nicer and they're also easier to squeeze into packages. So did you all see the Instagram post I put up the other day? Um, we've got Wickedly Inked coming very soon. I've been working very hard on that. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I, forgot. I don't even know why it never occurred to me to make stationery before. Like, I'm one of these people who loves stationery. And, whoof, okay, fine. I just don't know why it didn't occur to me to make my own. And I went, and then, yeah, now it's like, sort of fine. I'm just going to make it for everybody <laughs> why not uh, but in, in in typical fashion of things I do there is some there is some foul language stationery coming and there is some nice stationery coming I've even got this ones with cherry blossoms on it because we all know how much I love Japanese stuff 
But yeah, there's some themes happening. I'm super excited about the stationery for sure. I think that's also why I'm not feeling it today because this is the point where I get super terrified about things, about if I've made the right decision, you know, like buying the the, the printer that I bought. I mean, I bought it ages ago. I've only just started using it, you know, and it's sort of like, am I doing the right thing? Is everybody going to like this? Are they going to hate it? And sadly enough, as much as I don't like admitting it, I have a tendency to place my worth upon how much people like the things that I make which really has zero sorry zero to do with me personally like but still that's what I do and I know I do it and I know it's stupid and yet I do it anyway you know so if I make a product and it never ever sells then I consider that I'm a failure not the product does that make sense <laughs> which is really dumb and I know it's dumb <laughs> And yet I do it anyway. Oh dear. Now I'm not going to make a little um, smell me for this because there's no point. Um, I won't be selling this at all. Although, guys, I reckon this fragrance would sell well. It smells really fresh. Really, really nice. It would be nice in in a in like a room freshener spray. I don't know about a candle. I think it. I don't know. So I'm still, I mean, lemon lime, uh, lemongrass and Persian lime is still, you know, my favourite sort of limey smell. Nothing beats that, although we're talking just citrus in general. We all know that I'm in love with Clementine, so you haven't met her yet. <laughs> Who's that a girlfriend named Clementine? Such a weird name. Sorry to the Clementines out there. This is just using the music. My arty farty freebie soapy. <laughs> I figured soap had to have an e on, uh, an e on the end of it because everybody, everybody else did. Uh, freebie soapy. Um, yes, I think this is quite nice. We will do a little texture on there. This bench is just atrocious. That's okay. Oh, I tell you, the laundry sink in this house, I hate it with a passion. It is the stupidest laundry sink. The tap, the laundry sink is so deep, my back is still aching from washing up. Um, but the tap doesn't move at all. It's a fixed tap. Who does that in a laundry sink, for God's sake? I mean, really? <laughs> it's just stupid. All right, what are we doing? We're just going to just... Ooh, just do this because that's pretty as. Just do those. And then we'll just put it in there like that. Like that. And do this again. Nice and deep. So we can't pull some other colours up. And then we'll do lay it. Like lay it. Um, channeling Bobby Duke over here. Oh my god, I tried to get off what was on my finger and actually stuck my finger in the soap. <laughs> oh my god, what a dickhead. I'm such a dickhead. Alright, spinny, spinny, spinny. And then, I'll do it from the other side. Like that. And then we'll put this bit of soap somewhere else because we don't want to put it in the top because that looks too nice. I'm not being too fussy with it because why? It's 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 too much of a. This is more a sort of a cool free form artworky kind of soap, I reckon. I'm I'm absolutely loving how it looks on the top. Um, we will do a bit of glitter. I think we might just do hollow because I don't think it needs specific colours. There's so much mess inside the containers. So much mess. Uh, hollow. 
hello. Now, I have to remember that these things shoot out so much shit, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear. So you guys will see, probably see this video. What are you doing? I said it squirts out heaps of shit, now it doesn't. Uh, next week, because today is ooh, Wednesday the... Wednesday the 14th of April so I have one more video to upload for you guys which I think is with vanilla and cucumber maybe and then this will be the next one this is um blizzard and it's super fine so I'm sort of just blowing over the top of it so it's sort of settling on the um on the soap but I'm just trying not to just go super overboard. This stuff's really good because it gives like a, a sheen to your soap. Whereas the whereas the hollow you can see is, is quite big. Um, it, yeah, it's quite big, so it sort of it looks more like a glitter. Alright, well let's bring one up for you to have a look, seeing as it's so far down inside there. Can I camera today? Oh, I can camera today. Look at me go. Jesus Christ. Who knew that I could camera? <laughs> and I even went nice and slow for you too. Oh. I should do it in slow-mo with some porn music. <laughs> like what they use on What's a Safe Word. Oh, dear. That's a good channel. If you're into sort of learning more about kinky kind of stuff, that's a good channel. And, and um... And for Mr. Christopher are uh, crazy. I love them. They're so rude. Um, and that there is a little cut in my finger. Ooh, and that now has got soap butter in it. And that is stinging. But all that soap butter I had on my hands before, no, doesn't hurt at all. All right, guys. This is a super long video. I haven't done a super long one for ages. I feel so much better. I really do. Thank you for making me feel better. And I will see you momentarily for the cutting and hopefully the unveiling of the best sprinkles we've ever seen, ever. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> Hello. I picked this up to check it and a cloud fell out. <laughs> what I did was I came down last night and this is the backs. I turned them over because this, this side was a bit rough. So I thought if I, Christ, that one's going to fall out too. I thought if I turned them over, that'll just get a little bit of air underneath them so that they'd get air on both sides and wouldn't be stuck to the um, to the uh, paper. Because as, as you can see, they were kind of stuck to it. So it looks like... Uh, not that one. That one's broken. I tried to push that one out last night. So that one is my fault. <laughs> that one, seriously though, that honestly, it just fell out. Yeah, it just fell out. Oh wow, okay. I don't know how the little um, lightning bolts are going to go. They are very small, but the clouds are... F <laughs> Look at this. I wasn't even trying to push that one out. Oh, this is a success. Oh, anywhere you touch it, they're just falling out. This is great. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> is this actually on camera? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's try, because obviously the clouds work, which means the circles are going to work for sure. Let's see if the little lightning bolts work. Oh, I was a bit worried about these because they are very small. Now it's coming out, but it's very hard to get it out. What can we use that would facilitate that not sticking in its little corner? Um, my fingernail. I'm just thinking, because these are quite bent. Oh, <laughs> just popping out clouds everywhere. I'm just thinking, if I if I give this a bit of a bend. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, you were right, Kylie. You said it would work. I messaged her after I made these yesterday and said, "Look at this." And then now, and I said, "Now you have to suffer and wait with me." <laughs> Does it they work? <laughs> oh dear.
Oh look, I like to make everybody else suffer along with me. Why not? Now, what about, I don't have a toothpick, I don't think, but a toothpick would probably be go, I reckon, to get those tiny little ones out. Um, oh, this is going to be a long video. I've, I've got nothing. No, I've got nothing. I have a screwdriver, but it's a Phillips head, so not very pointy. I really have nothing except a bloody great big knife because <laughs> I can't have a little tiny knife like a normal human being. So what I'm thinking is if I just just tap that in that little corner. Look, the clouds are just falling out. This is awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so glad I came down here. It's only... I don't even know what time this is. I didn't bring my phone with me or anything. I was just making a cuppa. It's going to be like 9 o'clock, I think. Yeah, look, they're coming out. Just got to be careful. I would assume if you have a softer recipe, this will take a bit longer, but I have a fairly hard recipe, so my soap is um, fairly quick to pop out of the mould anyway. I could probably actually pop the soaps that we made yesterday out as well. So these are fine. These are absolutely fine. These are fantastic. I am so happy right now. I think also doing the whole scrapey thing with the um, spatula was a much better idea. I would also suggest that you do it really neatly as well and then that way because these are not going to unmold very well. Here's an idea. Let's get rid of all those ones that have popped up. I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea. Could you just, could you just get out? <laughs> Every time I touch them at the back accidentally, they are popping up. There you go. Just scrape that off. So it's not holding them in. Not the same with these ones here. There we go. But yeah, it might be worthwhile just being a little bit neater with it to begin with to save yourself a bit of heartache unmolding. Not that I'm having a whole lot of trouble here. <laughs> They're just popping out. Look at this. Just popping out. Pop, 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 except for the things. Although you, I can feel them as I push on the back of them, you can see. Did one just fall out? Then? No. You can see how they're sort of the tops have popped. And I just, I'm a bit worried about their points. That's all. I'm just gonna just get that off. So I'm just gonna just. Oh, there you go. There goes one. Okay, let's. You probably don't need to watch me pop them all out, do you? <laughs> I'm probably not going to pop them all out because I wasn't going to have my cup up. Breeze is in super. Oh, um, uh, everything's wonderful mode, so I have to suffer through that. <laughs> I go out for lunch with her. No, that's fine. I've had a couple of orders coming in the last day, so I'll go and organise those and get them printing. I have been making notebooks like a crazy person because I think I've pretty much settled on the designs I want to do. Some of them. I'm always going to be making new things. Hey, look at this. This is so much better. Most of those are just going to just fall out anyway. I just need just a little bit of help. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm surprised. I didn't, I was really, really unsure about these. I thought if anything was going to screw up, it would be the little lightning bolts because, you know, they're only little, but they work. And, of course, they're going to look much nicer when they're laid out on a clean piece of paper as well, so... 
All right, I will leave the rest of those because you don't really want to watch that, do you? Because that's going to make this video so long. <laughs> but I am like, these are crisp. Oh, can you hear that? Oh my God. He just does that. That's just like every day he, does. he makes that noise. But yeah, there's like super crisp. I think if you just make the, make this thing really nice and neat, this is what I'm gonna do. Before I, before I pop anything out of this one, how about, should be right. I always think I'm gonna cut myself and I never do, but I'm still terrified to sharp things anyway, and then do stupid stuff like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Oh, <laughs> we'll move the two that decided they were going to pop out. Actually, let's take this away all together. Make this all nice and thin. Because it's 3D printed, so it can handle this. Like, you're not going to... So I've just scraped it on my finger and I didn't take any skin off, so, you know. Alright, so that's nice and neat on both sides. So let's have a look at how... Oh, I can't pick it up, I've squished it. Oh yeah, look at this. Can you see this? As I'm running my fingers along underneath, they're just popping out. So, that's fantastic. I'm wondering if I do a smaller circle because these are fairly large circles uh, especially comparatively to um, sugar sprinkles they are fairly large um, I would like ones that look more like actual sprinkles but the problem you're gonna have is when things get too small the print needs to be a certain thickness or it becomes really hard to print and you won't get really nice prints because uh, because of reasons which I'm not going to explain here because I don't need to you know give away all my secrets <laughs> now seriously that was pretty simple now imagine if you had like 10 of 10 of these and you just did one in a color each how quick would it be to make bloody sprinkles for your soap oh I'm so excited about this idea now um, soap sprinkles. Where are all the soap sprinkles? Let's get some soap sprinkles and have a little comparison. So it's nice and chilly in here this morning. It's 20.9. I've got my, um, my fluffy dressy gown on. <laughs> now, I'm just trying to find something that just has just circles in it. <laughs> I have a lot of sprinkles. What's that? Oh, it's not well. That's half a cloud. Um, well, I mean, no, here we go, we'll just take one of these out, or oh, I want to eat it and I have soapy fingers now. Oh, I haven't actually opened this yet. No, I haven't either. Okay, so these are the skull and crossbones from Get Sprinkled. I'm just going to have to... Oh, after the soapy taste. Mmm, they're so good. Oh, here we go. Okay, so these are these are soap sprinkles. They're pretty much just like an average size. So I'm thinking what I might do is I might make... Oh, yeah, the soap was a bit much. I'll see if I can make ones that are this size as well. I'll take one upstairs with me. But I'm pretty stoked with these. Very, very stoked with these. And the little clouds are gorgeous. But yeah, can you imagine those? Like, if you did like white and pale grey and dark grey in the clouds, how cool would they look? I'm so excited now. All right, I'm going to turn this off because that's 12 minutes of me waffling on about a product, my own product. This is I'm, I'm in love with my own product. I mean. Is it a bad thing though, really? I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't mind carrying on about other people's products when, they are, when their products are awesome. So why can't I 
be proud of my own. I don't know. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? To not be proud of my own things. Hmm. Working on myself here. <laughs> Having re re revelations. <laughs> I'll sort all this out later. Alright, well I'll come back for the soap cutting, which may be today, which may not be today. <laughs> Poor little thing. Poor little thing. Pop it out. But yeah, I did, I, they're not seriously oversized. I mean, considering these are sprinkles, they're, they're not too big. Like I said, I'll make, I'm going to make a sheet with a bit smaller ones. But I like this size. This size is good. It's not unwieldy and it's good to just bend so it's not too big, it's not too small. I do like this size. So, Alright, I will see you later. Bye. Hello. I may possibly have forgot about this soap and left it <laughs> for two days. Um, and as is the case sometimes with uh, soaps in silicon moulds, if you leave them for a little bit too long but not quite long enough, what will happen is they'll get sticky again on the bottom. And this one was. The other one wasn't, which is kind of weird because they're the same soaps. But sometimes that happens. Right, so... What I'm going to do, because this is for freebies, I'm going to take that one and then I'm going to very carefully just bring that out here. And then, see it's sticky on the inside too. It'll be interesting to see if the other one is because it wasn't sticky on the outside, so I don't know. It's kind of weird for it to still be sticky on the inside after two days. Um, but some fragrances do that. They, they're just sticky for a bit longer. I'm just going to cut these again so they're thinner. They just fit better in the orders if they're this, if they're this thickness. But I think that's cute. Nothing fancy. Just cute little soap. Oh, I forgot to bring the box down. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's all it looks like. Nothing, Like I said, nothing fancy. This has soda ash on it and it was water discounted. So be aware of that. This is one of those ones that will ash. Um, it was not humid when I made this and it wasn't hot. So I don't think either one of those have played a factor at all. Um... Again, it's nearly 80% in here now, but it's 21 degrees. It's very nice. <laughs> Although, in saying that, I, if I say it's very nice, um, let me just take a couple of those off. So, uh, yeah, in saying that it's very nice in here, if I spent too much time in here, I'd be freezing cold because that's how my body works because I'm a weirdo and I don't like the cold. Um, I don't know how many of these you actually want to see. It's pretty boring. Let me just take nearly all of those out. That's very sticky. Very, very sticky. There we go. This is cute. I should have run a um, the, the hanger tool through it. Why did I not think of that? Why did I not think of that? What I might do, I should put that to the side. Um, I don't think this will be any different, but I'm I'm a bit keen to see if it's sticky on the inside because it's not sticky on the outside. I'll just have a quick look at that. This has ashed as well though. You can see that. You can. See that's a bit ashy on the top. It's not bad, but I'm not a fan. I mean the people that say it looks rustic or handmade, no it doesn't, it just looks like shit. <laughs> I have learnt to embrace it though, I don't bother doing anything to change it because it is what it is. Yeah, this one is not as sticky. Well, there you go. Oh god no, definitely not. So, these got poured at the same time, right? It's sticky but it's not as sticky. Poured at the same time, exactly the same ingredients because it came from the exact same batter and everything and yet one is really sticky and one not so much and also didn't stick in the mold because you can see the difference 
I mean, that's the one that was sticky. Let's see if I can show you with a bit of light. And you can see it's all stuck all around the ends. And then this one, it's hard to tell. It looks as bad, but it's not. Like it's still got a few, let's get some light in there. Like it's sort of, there's little marks in there, but not, but it was like, the, it's corners, you can see how it's corners were really crisp. Whereas on this one, the corners are not even remotely crisp and it's sticky. So, very weird, very weird. Now let's have a look, see if this design, that's terrible. I lined that up really badly. <laughs> No, same, same design. Just the same. Just the same. All right, I'll take a handful out. Yeah, not very exciting. Looks nice, smells nice. It's, it's, it's perfect for freebies. So that's all I wanted was a, a nice soap to give to customers. Well, in saying that, most of the orders that I send internationally do not get soap in them or any sort of freebie because of weight restrictions um, and as it stands now see the, the way postage works right is it goes off the international postage goes off of weight this is going to be a really really long video <laughs> if you're still here good on you um, yeah it goes off of weight so um, Everything in the on the website has um, a weight on it, uh, but that doesn't include the weight of the packaging, right? Which and there's absolutely no way to add that into uh, WooCommerce, as far as I know. Um, so, so yeah, it doesn't take into account the. Um, the, the packaging weight so uh, there's an order upstairs that has to go out now that has uh, two books um, and then a whole bunch of stuff now the whole bunch of stuff won't fit in the bo box that the books go in so I have to do the big book box and then because one of them is a, a one of the big brand new big extruders it'll have to go in a big box so they've paid for the weight of just what they've ordered which is fine that's the way it works but because of the way I'm going to have to pack it it's probably no it's not probably it is 100% going to cost me money to post it because it, that's just the way it is um, it doesn't happen all the time um, it mostly happens with orders that have books um, because the books need to be posted in their particular box if anything else is bulky and can't fit in the book in the box with the books then it has to be packed in another box and most of the bags that I own uh, most of the boxes that I own uh, yeah it, they don't fit in a in the well, yeah, it's not even fitting in the bags, is it? For international, it's all about the weight. So, yeah. So, I don't know. There's, that's one of those things I just don't know how to resolve. Um, I could put extra weight, I guess, on the items. But, that's the, I, I kind of find that a little bit dishonest. Because, if, you, if you're just going to buy, like if I say I put a bit extra weight on the, um, the large extruder just in case something like that happened, if you just buy the large extruder and you're not buying a book, then you're paying extra postage and you shouldn't have to do that. So, so yeah, so I, I, that's why I haven't done that because I just find that a bit dishonest and I don't, and I'm not here to make money off postage for people off people I just would prefer if I didn't have to pay postage <laughs> myself it's like I'm sort of paying people to buy my things is kind of what it feels like sometimes but anyway it is what it is like I said it doesn't happen very often um, the problem I'm going to have is because I'm starting this new venture which is called wickedly inked haha <laughs> get it <laughs> um, I will be selling stationery and if 
someone buys, although they are going to be two separate websites, um, but if someone buys stationery and, I don't know, it doesn't matter because they're going to be two separate websites. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, it won't happen. Because one won't cross over the other. I don't think. And they're not right. But whatever. But that will do my head in. Maybe that's a turn around the other way. <laughs> no, they're right. Okay. Look, we'll pretend they're right. I don't care. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're going to be two different separate sites. Because I figured I have a fair bit of stationery that I'm going to be releasing. And I don't want to... And I would like to just have a separate website because the other one is just getting a little full now. At some point I may even separate the soap and candles out from like all the 3D printing stuff because I just, it, it's very hard to, to separate it as it stands. But we'll see what happens. So anyway, so look out for that. Um, the soap stamps are coming along, uh, soap stencils are coming along fabulously. I have got so many made now. I've also got my little thing here. And then I have, <laughs> this, is, this is my little haul I'm taking upstairs. So I've done a unicorn head, um, but I've discovered that I have flamingo sprinkles. So I'm going to, oh God, I can't even hold these up to show you. I'm going to attempt to make a little flamingo shape. Can you? No, there you go, a little flamingo shape, and then we have a cactus. I don't really need to take these with me. A unicorn horn, a dog bone, and a full unicorn body. Now, like I said, I don't have to take them upstairs with me, but if I take them upstairs with me, I can eat them. <laughs> and they will remind me to do things. And this one is um, Jurassic Bits, which is just full of dinosaurs, which didn't even cross my mind, so I'll probably do some dinosaur shapes, but... Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, I think I've covered a fair few already. Um, I've done all the basics like circles and squares and triangles and hexagons and diamonds and you know those sort of shapes or rhombus if you want to call it what it actually is. Be fancy. <laughs> um, you know and like basic flower shapes that you would get with sprinkles so um, unicorn head, mermaid tail, um, um, crescent moon, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of things anyway, you'll see them when they release, which fingers crossed will be really soon, it's probably, the worst thing for me now is that today is Friday, um, this video should come out on Monday, so I would like to have the, the soap stencils ready to go like when this comes out because you guys haven't seen them before and I don't want someone to watch this video and go oh that's a good idea I'll make those too and then release them before me because that'll really give me the shits so <laughs> so yeah but I have to print each one so I can take photos of them for the website and each sheet is taking between four and eight hours some of them take most of them are taking around about four and a half to five hours but there's a couple of them uh, like the mermaid tail small because I've done small and large in all of the all of the sheets um, the ones that have smaller details take longer and the, the longest one takes just short of nine hours so trying to get those printed while I'm printing orders because orders always come first um, yeah it's, it's kind of I I'm, know I'm, I'm pushing it but we'll see anyway hopefully you'll see this video on Monday whether or not I get it edited and uploaded and done before then is a whole different story um, and then yeah hopefully maybe Monday as well I'll do a, a a new product video or Tuesday I'll do a new product video we'll see we'll see what happens anyway God knows what the next day will bring <laughs> who knows all right bye hope you enjoyed the soap <laughs> I don't know, that's a shit ending. <laughs>